Hi, this is Ron Sipsik, and this is the first part of a four-part series on expenditure line analysis. We use the expenditure line model to examine how short-term or short-run changes in spending affect GDP and therefore affect unemployment. So the expenditure line model has a, a, a long history in principles of macroeconomics courses. It was formerly called the Keynesian Cross named after John Maynard Keynes, who argued quite effectively in his book, The General Theory, that short-run changes in spending have dramatic effects on GDP, so that uh, GDP fluctuates because of changes in spending. So we do assume that uh, the viewer has uh, already learned some things about GDP, disposable income consumption, and overall spending. However, I do take a few moments here to review some basic concepts. So notice that when GDP increases over time, that's going to push disposable income higher, which will push consumption higher, which will push total planned expenditures higher. Remember, total planned expenditures really are a measure of what we call aggregate, aggregate demand. So let me write that out. And we can see why this linkage occurs because total planned expenditures is the sum of consumption, planned investment, government purchases, and net exports. So if something pushes consumption up, but the other components of spending, I, G, and X minus M do not change, then TP, TPE has to in, increase. Total planned expenditures have to increase. Of course, the reverse is true. If GDP falls, then that is going to push disposable income downward, which would push consumption spending downward, which would push total planned expenditures downward. And again, it's because C is a key component in the total planned expenditure calculation. Now, these, these relationships here can be illustrated using the expenditure line model. So let me go ahead and scroll down, and we'll actually model this this. Uh, these ideas. So here we have a two-dimensional space and we'll put total planned expenditures on the vertical axis, meaning it's the dependent variable, it's the thing uh, being affected, and we'll put GDP on the horizontal axis, meaning it's the independent variable, it's the cost. Now we can we can put a function in describing the relationship and it's an upward sloping function uh, because when GDP goes up TPE goes up when GDP goes down TPE goes down so it's a direct relationship and we can label this line the expenditure line C plus I planned plus G plus X minus M and notice this does not begin at the origin uh, this y-intercept here is called capital A, and capital A is what we call autonomous, autonomous expenditures. And the term autonomous means that these are expenditures which are unrelated to the level of income. So we're assuming that some spending is not affected by GDP. What this line says is spending is affected by GDP as GDP goes up, TPE goes up, but because this has a positive y-intercept, if GDP were zero, never going to happen, but if it were zero, this says that there would still be some expenditures. Really, that possibility is not going to exist. Uh, we're not uh, arguing that GDP would ever be zero. All we're doing is graphically portraying a situation uh, where spending, some spending is unrelated to the level of GDP. Now, we could pick a couple points on this expenditure line and we can actually illustrate what we've been saying. We'll call this point one. We'll call this point two. And um, I'll bring this over a little bit. This is going to be TPE two. And this point here will coincide with TPE 1. Didn't leave myself much room there. And then GDP 1 and GDP 
too. So what does the graph say? The graph says that as GDP goes up, this is the cost. If this goes up, then TPE goes up. Now, again, I assume some prior, uh, prior understanding of this, and this would be developed in another lesson, a lesson that we're not going to address here. But the slope of this line is equal to MPC. And MPC is the marginal propensity to consume, the percentage of additional income that is spent. All right, so we're going to assume that the expenditure line has a slope equal to MPC. And, and that makes sense because uh, if we think about the connection between GDP and TPE, let's, let's go back up top here. If we think about the connection between GDP and TPE, we can see that GDP works through a transmission mechanism, income and consumption. So where, um, where MPC shows up is MPC shows up right here in this linkage. MPC tells us what percentage of that income is going to be spent. Okay, so if MPC is equal to 0.8, then what we're saying is every additional dollar of income, 80 cents is going to be spent. And so the slope of the expenditure line relative to GDP, the, the way that spending will change relative to GDP is really a function of MPC, how much spending is done in relation to how much income is earned. Okay? So there, there's, the, uh, there's the quick course on how you get the slope of the expenditure line. Now, again, that's, that's been de developed in a prior lesson. I don't actually have a video on that lesson, but uh, I have developed that in, in, uh, in previous lessons with my students. Okay, now, what I want to do is I want to actually put some numbers on here, and I want to talk about how we can find A and how we can actually find any other point on the... Um, on the expenditure line. So let's just assume, I'm going to put some numbers on here. Let's assume that this is 3,000 and let's assume for the sake of argument that uh, this is 3,800. Okay, so 3,000, 3,800. And let's assume that TPE here, uh, TPE1 is, um, we'll just assume that that's 3,100. And let's assume up here that TPE2, that this number up here Oh, uh, let's make it uh, 30, we'll make it 3,700, okay? All right, so what has happened here is GDP has increased by 800. The increase here is 800, but the increase in total planned expenditures is 600, okay? So total planned expenditures went from 3,100 up to 3,700. That's a $600 increase. So we can see here that the slope, the slope of this line is equal, as we said, to MPC, but MPC in this case is going to be the change in TPE over the change in GDP, and TPE increases by 600, GDP increases by 800, so the slope of this particular expenditure line is 0.75 if you solve that. All right. Now, we can actually specify a formula for this expenditure line. It's, uh, in fact, we can special, spec, uh, specify a formula for any expenditure line, and that formula is TPE, the dependent variable, equals MPC, the slope, times GDP, the independent variable, plus A, A being the y-intercept. So we can actually plug numbers in here and solve for A. We have enough information to solve for A. We know that the slope is 0.75. We just, we just calculated that. And we can pull a coordinate from our curve, from our line. So we've been given two points on the line. Now look, if these two points are on the line, they must fit the function. They must be, uh, they can be plugged into the function and they'll yield A. Keep in mind that if two points are on the same line, they have the same A. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, I'll scroll back down. I have to 
to use this a weird scrolling tool, but Okay, so TPE, when TPE is 3,100, GDP is 3,000. We just simply pulled that coordinate off the line. And then we don't know what A is. That's what we're solving for. So what do we have here? We got 3,100 equals 0.75 of 3,000. That's 2,250 plus A. And then we can solve for A here. A is going to equal what? Well, it's going to be 3100 minus 2250, and that looks to me like 850. If my math is correct, that is 850. Okay? All right, so our y intercept, or what we call autonomous expenditures, is 850. So I'm going to scroll back up, and I'm going to actually put that on. Whoop! How did I do that? Let's. Whoop! Got some technical difficulties here. We have. Oh, there we go. Gotta move it over. There we go. And we'll bring it down a little bit. That has never happened to me. All right. At least while we're going live. Okay. So let's go back up to our diagram, and let's put our 850 on our diagram here. Looks like we're still magnified a little bit, but that'll be okay. So let's go up here and uh, go back to our writing. And this value right here is 850. I apologize. This has gotten a little messy. I, uh, I can usually do better than that. Okay? So A is 850, which means we can find any other point now on this... Um, on this expenditure line. So let's say that we're talking here about GDP 3 and let's say that this is uh, 5,000. This is not drawn to scale. We'll put a break point in there. And so our question is what would what would TPE 3 be? What would the level of TPE be at a GDP level of 5,000? Well we can use our formula. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to move that up. This is such an exciting lecture. My yellow lab is over here laying about five feet away from me on the floor sleeping. And it's so boring to him that it's not boring to me. I'm having a great time. But it's so boring to him that he is actually snoring. So you may hear a little snoring in the background of this video. Um, can you hear that? He just snored. All right, here we go. So TPE, his name is Buddy. Uh, hi, Buddy. Hey, Buddy. No snoring, bud. TPE equals MPC times GDP plus A. We know this is point what? 75. We know this is now 850, right? So if GDP is 5,000, the question becomes, what is TPE? That's what we're solving for. So what is 75% of 5,000? Well, that turns out to be 3,750 plus 850. And guess what that equals? That's going to equal 4,600. If my math is correct, that should equal 4,600. So TPE 3, which we had drawn in red, is 4,600. So let's move back up. And this number right here is going to be 4,600. So the GDP were to expand from 3,000 to 5,000, TPE would increase from what? 3,100 all the way up to 4,600. Okay? All right, you notice that that is an increase. If we went all the way from 3,000 to 5,000, that's an increase of what? 2,000 in terms of GDP, and that's an increase in what? That's an increase of 1,500 in terms of TPE, 
notice that the rise, the red rise, the rise here is 1500. The run is what? The run is 2000. And guess what that turns out to be? That turns out to be a slope of 0.75, okay, which is what we would expect. Okay, so this, uh, this is what we're going to uh, wrap up with in this particular lesson. So if, if a student or if an interested party is given two points on an expenditure line, you should be able to find A, autonomous expenditures. Notice autonomous expenditures is a point on the expenditure line. So you're really finding a third point. Or you could find a third point out here, which we did call point three. So with two points on an expenditure line, we should be able to find the slope of the expenditure line, MPC, and we should be able to find A, which is the y-intercept. Okay, this concludes part one of a four-point, four-part series, excuse me, on expenditure line analysis.